Hello everyone! So today I have a little bit of a different video, a little treat for you. <clears throat> this is a Tater Hogs Custom Lures Angry Gill Jr. Um, look at that thing, that thing is cool. Uh, new color he's making. Um, very nice, hand carved, hand painted. <clears throat> glide baits makes a bunch of different ones um, this is like I said the angry gill junior smaller bluegill profile one and yeah it is gorgeous um, almost don't even want to throw it it looks so good um, <coughs> and uh, yeah so we're just gonna go out there and try to fish with just this and number one check out the action see what it looks like and all that cool stuff and kind of do a little bit of a review on it and hopefully catch a big on it today so um this guy creeping around <laughs> but uh yeah it's really cool look even like signs them and everything when he paints them yeah they're really awesome and really good like i think those are owner hooks on it really nice beefy treble hooks so, don't need to change out the hooks either. Um, but anyway, so I only brought a couple of rods. One to throw that, and then a couple others just in case. I feel like changing it up with Sanko or something just, just in case. But I'm pretty much just going to throw that. I'm not even bringing any of my other stuff. So, anyway, I'll see you guys on the water. It's a tit bit nipply today. Usually not the greatest conditions for a glide bait, but um, normally I like some sun, chop on the water. We got that, but yeah, look at that thing. Here we go. Try not to hit these trees behind me here. Go first cast with Gantarel or Gantarel. And it got all fucked up. That's fucking nice. This might be a problem. what's going to be another problem is just casting this dang thing. thought it was supposed to sink a little bit. It's like a top water. Huh. That's interesting. It doesn't sink. Hmm. I thought it was a sinker.
totally like a top water bait. That's weird. Look at that. It's like a top water. Makes a really good you know, top water action there, but not what I thought it was. Very interesting. But that's totally not what I was thinking it was going to do. It's definitely something new for the big bait arsenal, for sure. And yeah, it gets really good action. You can give it some twitches. It's really cool, so... And even you do this, then it just like wake baits on the top that tail kicks water around. Interesting. There we go. Oh, Jesus. I'm just dangerous right now. Deer. There's deer over there. Oh, what the? Something just bit me. Oh, that didn't feel good. Pretty crazy. I'll try it over in the weed flat a little bit. But, uh, let's see if maybe, just maybe. I kept seeing something moving around over here, so let's see if I just get him to bite with the sink real quick. Maybe I should have brought more stuff. <laughs> it's always the day like this when I decide to do this that I get mad that I didn't bring everything. <laughs> and then the days when I bring everything, it's always just one bait that works <laughs> that I usually already had tied on. <laughs> but, whatever. There we go. Not big. Water skiing him. He's a tubby little yeah. <laughs> well, yep, not the big end I'm after. Ah, oh, 
what the? That had to be a freaking bluegill. Nope. Not a bad one. Actually, a pretty dang good one. Not great, but not bad. Actually, not good, but hey, that's something. That's been a struggle. Buddy tail starting to heal up, I think, unless we just started. That looks spawned out to me, but. bait for the win. <laughs> Alright, so the Tater Hogs Custom Lures Angry Gill Jr. This thing is awesome. Um, so it's like a topwater uh, glide bait. Really good action. Topwater. Um, but before I talk about that, let's I'm gonna give you a tip real quick. Um, I threw that thing for like two hours around the whole pond, never got a bite on it. And then he saw right before I left, I decided to screw it and threw a chatterbait and a Senko. Caught a couple of fish, but really wasn't the point of this video. But just had to catch a couple before I left. <laughs> just for the heck of it. But the tip is different water columns. So bass are either going to be feeding down or they're going to be feeding up um, pretty much year round obviously in the winter they're going to be deeper they're going to be feeding down um, all the time but the rest of the year spring summer fall they're going to be feeding either you know a majority of the fish are either going to be feeding down or they're going to be feeding up so that's why like a tip is every time I go fishing I have rods tied up where I'm going to cover all levels of the water column. You know, I got bottom baits like a dragon jig or a shaky head for a finesse version of that or a tube or whatever. Or a chatterbait fishing on the bottom, which you can fish it a little faster and a little up. But whatever, the way I like to fish it, usually on the bottom. Uh, and then middle water column, you know, a square bill, a spinnerbait you know things like that to get through that middle column and then something up towards the top the top water or um, whatever so with swim baits and I'll just go through this real quick for bluegill imitating swim baits is what we'll talk about right now because it's what I fish a lot because most of our places are bluegill orientated um, and that is you know for bottom baits I like these two a lot. This is the Matt Lures Ultimate Bluegill. See the exposed hook though, I'm not going to fish this around grass too much. Um, but if it's not a lot of grass, whatever, this thing is awesome. You just slow roll it on the bottom. Now if there is grass, this is the um, Huddleston Bluegill. You can see the hook's kind of in there a little bit better it's better in the grass so this is kind of just covering those water columns if I want to throw a swim bait so and then middle water column it's a glide bait and this is the jackal gantrail junior which you guys have seen me fish this a lot last year caught a lot of big fish on this last year had like seven and a half biggest fish of the year on this last year as well as a bunch of fours and fives and whatever so that's middle of the column so this is going to cover that top of the water column um so tater hogs custom lures angry gill jr now he makes a bunch of different swim baits and they're all hand carved handmade hand painted and it's just 
gorgeous. Look at that. Bunch of different colors. This is his newer version of Bluegill. He uh, had some darker ones and stuff, but I think he's just doing this one right now. Now it's my fault. I didn't know that I was getting a floating swim bait, but he has different, he has shad ones and whatever. A bunch of different swim baits covering different water columns, whatever. Obviously, I'll put a link in the description to his baits. They are pricey, but yeah. Anyway, so the review on this sucker. It is awesome. Um, like I said, I didn't know it was going to be like a, a floating topwater sort of bait when I got it. Just not paying attention. But it is, and it's amazing. So if you just retrieve it, you know, like you do a glide bait, just a, you know, a normal sort of retrieve, a slow retrieve, it has an amazing action, but it's on top, so that tail is really waking the water and making really good motion on the water. Um, looks awesome. But, also, with this bait, you can twitch it like crazy. If you give it pops and walk it like a frog or a spook, you know, it looks really, really good. And it kind of dives down, but it has an amazing walking action on it. And actually, you can sit there and just walk it in the same spot, and it'll just go back and forth, you know. If you just sit there and walk it a few times, it'll just stay in the same spot. So that's really good too. You can keep it in like the same, like in the strike zone. Throw it up around cover and just twitch it in that strike zone. Um, things I like to do with this, you know, like a fish dying bait or whatever. It looks like a fish dying on top of the water. Um, you know, there's uh, some other sort of top water baits that kind of imitate that uh, kind of like a frog style bait and what I found works with those is you give it a couple twitches or a few twitches and then stop it and you usually get crushed when you stop it stop it for a few seconds whatever and you get a blow up so um, I'm sure I'll be doing that a lot with this but you can also just walk it straight through to you like a frog it just looks really, really good. So this sucker is going to get crushed once the time is right. Just got to find a right day for it. This obviously was not the right day. Um, actually, I filmed this over a week ago, maybe even close to two weeks ago. And it just wasn't topwater time yet. Starting to kind of get there, which actually you'll see in the next video. Topwater bite is getting on, so there's a little tease for you for the next video. But, um, yeah, this thing is going to start getting crushed. Uh, so I'm really looking forward to that. But it's just amazing. It's got really good owner hooks on it. At least I think those are owners. Um, but really good hooks on it. So you don't need to change out hooks either. I might end up feather hooking it. You know, put some feathers on the hooks like those. Um, just something I like to kind of do with spooks and other treble hook top water baits. Um, so that's pretty much it. That thing is awesome. So you definitely need to go check out Tater Hogs Custom Lures. Yes, they are pricey, um, but if you have the money, definitely buy them because this thing it has like some of the coolest action I've ever seen. It walks so good. Um, like just reeling it, it walks really, really good. So I'm sure all of his other, you know, more subsurface baits do the same. Uh, it's just, it's amazing. And it's going to be a great topwater bait. But I just figured I'd kind of talk about it. I tried it for the first time ever. Haven't thrown it since. Haven't really had an opportunity to. Barely been fishing, so. Uh, <laughs> but, um. Yeah, that's pretty much it. So I will see you guys on the next one. It'll be Topwater Smallies. So, you know, you'll want to check it out.
Anyway, see ya. Click on my logo in the upper left hand corner to subscribe. In the upper right hand corner is the last video I made. In the lower right hand corner there's a video I know you'll enjoy. And make sure to hit that like button down below as well.